It was good, shy fam. Metro Man Man Master So. You're the Master Nettle, the Round Skateboard Company 1. Subscribe to the spin. And we're here with Shy Anime Episode 5 review. This is actually the moment I realized that we're moving quite along with this season. Yeah, we're almost halfway through it already. Damn. Reminder that this season actually started near the end of September instead of early October than it normally does. So yeah, one more minute, we're halfway done. Crazy, right? The world be moving so fast. Quick disclaimer. Y'all know I like this show, so the things I'm saying here kind of feel like a reach. It is what it is, but it's working. This episode actually was the first episode but that wasn't shy at all. And by that, I mean the hero form. We spent this entire episode as Teru Omijiyama. I said her name right this time. However, you do lose two points for making me think about my old job. We start this episode with Teru coming in and she pretty much, <laughs> she's at a store that she used to go to when she was growing up, but there's nobody at the counter while she's holding her items. So she has to say, excuse me, and you try to get people's attention, which is a bad moment for her. She's barely able to do so. To the point where she actually considers putting everything that she got back and just leaving. <laughs> Now this is unrelated, but the reason I talked about my old job earlier is because I used to work at Rite Aid, which is great if you're a customer. There's a lot of people that I've heard say they love Rite Aid when I told them I worked there. It was to the point of this conversation. And as a ship supervisor, I had to run the cashier and run the back at the same time, but because we was getting understaffed, and this was before COVID, so it had nothing to do with that. Sometimes I had to do both, and it was time when the register was unmanned, I had to eventually go up there to help out a customer. What I'm saying is, as and all these considered, it's taken to the extreme. But Teru thinking that she may have to put that stuff back was a nice thing she could have done. There were times when I went back to the register to just see a bunch of merch on the floor. I'm sorry, bitch. My job don't like me either. Back to the episode, right? When it comes to this episode, we've seen a lot of stuff when it comes to Teru trying to bring back out that fire. Or simply unleashing the fire within with the promise that she made to Eko, who only had one scene in this episode as well. This episode wasn't the shy anime that we're used to. Now when the store owner eventually gets back there, you know it's an old lady that knows Mubachina. I, I went back to say her name wrong. She knows Teru, and she basically was there with conferences about the past, but she has a very bad back. And she just yells in pain from the pain in this back every time she has to over herself right at the job. I am related to this too much right now. I just turned right into UPS. I should have slick me like, fuck this episode. <laughs> but anyways, when Terry Bishop gets back home, she's still having issues with bringing out that fire ability again. And she's trying to find a way to unlock that. Because all these consider as big as this moment was last week, it kind of was just done out of will. Just because you awaken the power up inside of you doesn't mean you're able to use it over and over again. Which just kind of sucks, but it's kind of true in real life as well. You was able to wake up something within you from a moment happening in your life, just ready to hit you right then and there, and on the spur of the moment, you got it done. But all of that that just happened isn't the actual trigger. The fire came when Mojiyama needed it the most. I guess started this last week, but that was a one and done there. That doesn't, isn't how you actually do it. However, this is interrupted though by. Well, it's Black Cross Nurse, but that's not how she came. What's her actual name, Plissan? <laughs> Terry didn't recognize Black Cross at first, and then she did her old, whole monologue, which, as we talked about last week, Terry doesn't know what that is either. And I guess this is it's really a Japan thing right now because the neighboring people are looking on <laughs> also didn't know what was happening. I made a joke last week about Terry not knowing who this girl was, but I, I, I didn't know she just was so local. <laughs> Anyways, this girl, big son of vibes. Like this makes me want to take back everything I said about Lucy and Ancient Man is Bright. This girl right here, are you for real? And despite the show doing it on <laughs> slick on the low, this girl does not actually give up any Yuri vibes whatsoever to me. It's like this is her natural personality. Like anybody that she's involved with, friendship vibes or not, she just acts this way towards. Which my sooner rate rules means she kind of loves everybody, I guess. But anyway, Black Christ basically just coming through to check up on her because you know she was her patient, blah blah, how things going. But Teru has a favor to ask her, and then that favor turns into a request. Which I can't blame Black Cross's reaction here, because when you do that right in front of somebody, this is kind of what goes to my head. Oh, so you need a favor. Oh, so now that favor's a request. So what you about to ask before, you do not intend to pay back at all. She just knows you back to help, Teru. <laughs> it was a courtesy call Black Cross didn't have to do. I'm just saying, for that position, I can't, I can't blame her. A cutscene, we're back at the freaking shop, where Black Cross has presumably agreed, but well, we know she agreed, to help heal the old lady's back. And she has the power to heal people, however she doesn't have to be in a hero form to get it done, which is a big point. And as she's healing this person, 
this lady tells us that basically she got on an annual hiking trip, trip but she can't, uh, her husband died three years ago, so she only gonna go on a hiking trip alone. But because that is dangerous, and since she, the old lady is now Black Horse's patient now, she invites herself to go with her. I know, too. Definitely got that payback, didn't you, Black Cross? You're gonna invite somebody just to go hiking? Dick move. Inviting people for an outing is one thing, but hiking in a mountain is, I don't wanna call it extreme, but that's definitely something you go over with somebody first. Hey man, I just found this mountain. We're about to go hiking. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Nigga, what? Huh? Say it three times, or terrible. But the hiking trip in itself is just a plot device, really. Because we get to the point where Terry reminds us that she's not an outside person, and if going through the mall with Eco son <laughs> tired her out, obviously going up a mountain is going to be more than two times worse. However, Black Frost has a secret to tell, and she asks him all these questions. She keeps be like, nah, nah, nah. But if she reaches the top of the mountain, she will reveal her what she. Well, Taylor basically asked her why she's so determined on trying to do all this stuff, and she was going to tell her that she makes it to the top of the mountain with her and the old lady. As Black Cross starts to push the old lady up the mountain. I know we came here in the first place to help her get up there, but come on. I got to climb this mountain myself while watching you help somebody? I take back what I said about the request earlier. When Taylor finishes up, the, the story we were you know, learning was the fact that Black Cross has prosthetic legs. Her legs are fake. And she lost her legs when she was real young. And even though she showed only one of her first day of legs, it seemed like in the flashback she was sitting in the wheelchair and she had no feet. So wait, both of them are. And she ended up climbing these mountains because it's in nature for uh, not even, she didn't even say human nature. She just said nature for people, certain people, to just pick on and prey on the weak. People seen her as less than them because they had legs and she did not. Now as a grown ass man, I can simply only look at this as a super dick move. However, the cruelty of the youth has gotten much worse since I was that age. This is one of the few moments where I made myself sound old on purpose. It's not nice out here, y'all. Raise your goddamn kids. I spent a lot of this episode part right here on... <laughs> Man, I'm already seven minutes in. Damn. To wrap that part up, when everything is said and done, Terry and Black Cross is talking again, and basically Black Cross, and to sundry fashion, she... Agrees to try to help Taylor become a proper hero. To be fair, the only other girl on the poster for this show we haven't seen is that girl on the right, then that blue that presumably uses water. So, yeah, eventually she was gonna find her way to the group, right? And after we got started, with anybody else joined, it's just not surprising. Now for the other part of the episode. I don't hold y'all. This made me think about things I'm not gonna recall if I ever thought about. The difference between fire and flames. It's been forever since I heard this song, but do the fire and flames anybody? A crazy song on Guitar Hero. The difference between fire and flames, I don't know if I ever thought about that in my life. Like I was even one to just immediately look it up when I first heard it just so I could actually ponder it for a while. Some people got fire powers. Some people got blaze abilities. Some people eat flare for fruits. Or oh, flame fire fruits if you watch the dub. There's a difference in all this. We, we kind of just put all this in a box, didn't we? And as Terry is spending the whole day trying to figure this out, not able to focus on anything, including Eco's new school uniform, I can't sit here and think I want to be right there with you. I challenge you not to Google it if you haven't already. Truly think about it. Now, the point where they came up on the calligraphy, don't know I'm say that right, calligraphy. Basically, there was a girl who wrote it passing by. She seen Terry was infatuation with it, and she wrote fire. So, basically, she brought her back to the calligraphy club. I'm not saying it right. Much to the president of that club dismay. <laughs> but I had to get Teru to vouch. I made mean, girl to vouch for Teru. And I know that sounds vague, but they never introduced themselves. Teru basically sat and watched, and they put her on game about calligraphy and what it means to them to bring it out to the heart. Now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I got some strong Hunter Hunter bias from this. Yeah, this is the second time we're bringing up Hunter Hunter, huh? I told you I was going to be kind of reaching, but work will be here. Remember when Gona Kilua first had to learn Nen? But because there's different levels of Nen and different parts of Nen, they had to find a way to bring out that Nen themselves. Now in one breath we have Kilua, who had to basically, basically, you, when he first figured out Nen, he figured out he was a transmuter because he could change the taste of the water, which eventually elevated him to be able to transmute lightning. Electricity. Go be an enhancer, able to enhance energy there is, which basically gave him some strong powers, but he brought out to rock, paper, scissors. You see how before, shut up. First comes rock, and your whole head goes off. Pito. Now if you bring this back to Teru, 
When I was talking about what would be the trigger to bring out that fire, it was up to her. But once you realize the basics of Nin, or realize the basics of what's going on and when it comes to you bringing out your fire in this show, the reason why Terry wasn't able to bring it out on her own like that is because she had yet to realize that it's kind of up to her. You had to do something that made sense. You had to do something that you was used to, something that was, you was good at. The only reason Kilu was able to use electricity because he started tasing himself. Why? Because torture to him is freaking nothing because of how his family came up with the Zodiacs. This is kind of getting dark. The whole thing with calligraphy time just made sense to Terry right then and there. She was able to just hop on it and just try to use that to bring out the feelings of the heart. Writing out her emotions that she's never able to get out in the first place. Why? Because she's shy. It makes perfect sense. Leave me alone. Having to write out said emotions because you can never freaking say them in the first place. This girl started a freaking episode in front of a counter and not able to even scream excuse me so she gets some freaking help. We get anime characters all the time in life in certain shows that they have to either write things out, type things out, just so they can get their messages across. If you haven't seen the Ra Ra you can't even talk to me right now. We just made calligraphy gangster. The shyest girl this season, writing out her feelings and they just get them out there so she's able to express herself more, using that as an expression to bring out that fire to use her actual powers. Especially when she's not even in shy form. Imagine when she transforms again. The whole episode without being shy just hyped the fuck out of the next anime. I don't know what show y'all watching. I mean, y'all ain't put it together. I don't know what to tell you. This video's getting long, so let me get up out of here. But man, this was a good episode. I kind of feel about this episode the same way I felt about Paradox Live last week. This is the episode all these considered had the least in it that you would expect from this show. However, the things attached to it just brought out the most out of it, and it just. Damn. No favorite episode. Like I said, there's a difference between best and favorite. If you don't think this is the best episode, Shy, all power to you. But favorite is up to me. This episode was fire. If you watch this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video for me, and I'll see y'all. Peace out, subscribe to the spin move. Mm -hmm.